The Gorecast is brought to you by American Horrors, the greatest uncut horror channel in the world. Four hours a day, seven days a week, all horror. As well as the station of decapitation without your head. America's longest running horror channel, www.withoutyourhead.com. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on? And we're live. Where's my picture gone? I don't know. Ha! Much better. Hold that. Life is fine. I feel, I feel a lot better about myself now. Ah, oh, it's all okay. Uh, it's Sunday, and not surprising, myself and kids are back. We're a little bit late due to. Uh, Life being that way. I was just fucked up with editing all week and didn't get to watch the movies. So, well, I did watch the movies, but it delayed me. And therefore, we're half an hour late. Very synchronized. That was good. But, um, some of the. Sipping my miscellaneous beverage. We have some very, very good movies and one other film. It's a movie. Yeah. Um, but all pretty much sticking along the same theme of killer dolls and evil puppets and. Stuff like that because well we're going to be doing an episode. Can't one movie that isn't really evil puppets. Yeah, we'll get into that during the movie. Yeah. Um. But before we get into that, wrestling. Because <laughs> he's barely go go. It's hard. No, you no you start go. gushing. No, you gush. All I was going to say was that we went to wrestling at the weekend and you. Wait, we, I'm going. We're going to give you a little insight into because we don't get out of the studio much as you might have gathered. So we all went to local wrestling last night with Phoenix Wrestling, which isn't actually local, but it was local last night. Yes. It is Cork, which is technically local if you're going by the province, but not by the county. The more you know. Um, and it's fucking awesome, <laughs> basically. It's chair hitting, knee chair shots. Break, chair, chair hitting, knee breaking. And it is actually technically applicable because Ashy Slashy, although it's not technically Ashy Slashy, shows up. Oh, you mean the... There was a six person puppet fight. There was a six person tag and a member of each team were puppets. There was full on puppet v puppet wrestling. There full was person v puppet wrestling. There was a tombstone and a Fuck puppet. That puppet. <laughs> oh. There I'm was there was there was puppet on puppet action. There was puppet on puppet action. There was puppet on puppet suplexes. There was puppets taking out the ref. I think <laughs> there was uh, women get, <coughs> getting revitalized with the power of Bud. Which I think should be a new adverse, to be blatantly honest. Where this session moth passes <laughs> out from section and too much, and then another session moth shows up with two kinds of butt, pours them down her throat, and then in a sort of what I'm imagining to be Popeye like fashion. <laughs> For me, I think the, the tombstone on the puppet. That tombstone on the puppet that he kicked out of. You don't see that every day. No, no, you do not. Well, the only, and it wasn't even a puppet, was um, your man from New Japan, where he had uh, Daryl, you know, the cat. Oh, yeah. Daryl the stuffed cat, who never who never officially had a match, but he did get involved quite a lot, cheating bastard. Mm. Well, you know, Nido. Not Nido. No, it's not Nido. It's, uh, uh, this is why I said your man from Rah. New Japan. The time bomb. There you yes, go. Thank you. you. Call him the time bomb. There you go. I can't remember it's... There's a lot of Japanese people, as you might gather, in New Japan, and they all have, uh, as you probably would imagine, very complicated, and some of, them. Um, some of them very similar, if you're not from Japan, sounding names. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to say Ibushi, but I know it's not Ibushi, because Ibushi's the guy in the Golden League. Now. Yeah. We're not here to talk about the club. We're here to talk about Phoenix. Yeah. We're not actually here to talk about Phoenix, either. we're here, we're here to, talk to talk about wrestling. Power. What? <laughs> Shit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh no, it blew my mind boss, it was great, I one track mind at the moment, we're here to talk about horror movies revolving around the killer doll spectrum of things, and another one that isn't. It does revolve around, kind of, mm. it's in the name. No. We're not thinking of the same film, are we? You're talking about Pinocchio's Revenge? Yeah. I'm talking about fucking Upgrade. That was a total fucking... Mm. Is it just to clarify before we get into it because it's actually going to be the last movie? It's a fucking good movie. It's amazing. Great movie. It's just not killer dolls. 
I'll get into my argument against that when we get to the film. Oh, I'll well, probably get deeper into my arguments when we get further into it. Anyway, if Possibly. the Phoenix Wrestling guys happen to be back in Limerick or you happen to be in Cork where they wrestle the shit out of it the whole time, see them. Yeah, it's they really do go out of the way, but a fantastic show. Tickets were like 15 quid last yeah. night. Best 15 quid I've ever spent. You spend more going to the cinema and you wouldn't be half as entertained. Especially mm-hmm. if it was a three hour movie. Two and, two and change. Yeah. It would depend on the film, I think. Some of them, yes. But quite a lot of two and a half hour movies, it's like. Why did I agree to do this? You're very long. You're very long. Mm. Do you know how I know it's two and a half hours? Because about one hour, 45 right. minutes, I was like, fucking hell, this is an hour 45. <laughs> That's it. And in saying that, we'll get into our first movie. That's a bad segue. Well, actually, it isn't because you didn't enjoy it. I did. Or did you enjoy it? Curse of Chucky? Cult of Chucky. Curse of Chucky. Cult, cult. I know. Yeah, um, I liked the premise of it and I liked. It got a lot of mixed reviews. And I can understand why. It takes the abilities of voodoo, although it's very hypocritical it's for what you and I are. Voodoo. For what I am about no, to say, consider what we do in the trailers. But I have no problem with any of that. I just thought it took certain leniencies with the abilities of voodoo. Before we go into it, Cult the Chucky is the 2018, 2017 70. sequel to Curse of Chucky, which was yeah, the... Yeah, 2017. Was it. it came out on my birthday, actually, because I was like, ah! Happy birthday to me. I enjoyed it, you see, so I was like, ah! Yeah, happy birthday. But um, Curse of Chucky was kind of like a soft reboot for the series, in a way. Um, while in the grander scheme you realise it does tie into the previous films the way it's presented. Soft reboot? Yeah. In what manner? They're they're repackaging to a degree the Chucky story. You're presented with a situation whereby it isn't really tied into the other films. No, it's just it's Chucky and he's done survived. Yes, but you're presented with new characters and the way the story Mm. is told there isn't a lot of pointing to the other films and going, ah, and as a result, it's kind of a bit of a reboot. Yeah, except for in this one, where nearly half of the old cast. Oh yeah, Cult of, Cult of Chucky was like, okay, we tried the reboot. Although we're going to see uh, Curse of Chucky, Andy shows up at the end. Yeah. That's why Headless Chucky's in this one. Yeah. Or sorry, not Headless Chucky, Bodyless Chucky. Hmm. He's got the head. Right, technically Andy's got the head. That's what I just said. Hmm. But Chucky has his head. No. I was talking about Andy, and I said, that's how he has the head. Or I said, that's how he has the body. And I was like, not the body, the head. Um, Cult of Chucky basically picks up relative, it's... Cult of Chucky picks up a few years later after the end of the first film, where the main character, Nico Pierce, played by um, uh, Dourif, Fiona Dourif. Yes? Fiona Dourif, yes, Brad Dourif's yeah. daughter. I knew it was oh, wait, we got people in. Hang on. Uh, oh. That's Jelly, so it's uh, it's Jelly. And Hello! I that's Rotty, so that's a little Rotty. Hello! That's, that's Byrne. And everyone else is in the studio audience. Okay, yes. that's fine. What do you think of the doll? The doll? Do you mean of the doll in the Chucky movies, or isn't there a movie called The Doll as well? I think she must mean the doll in the Chucky because see, this, one, the this is what I was getting to about the reboot, because the Chucky doll does look different, even from the original Good Guy doll. When it comes to Curse Chucky, yeah, it's kind of a more, it's a rounder face. It's kind of a more kitty friendly ish look to it, and that's the one that they kind of stick with for the majority of Cult Chucky, with the exception of the original himself. Yes, <laughs> that was a lot there in one sentence. Sorry, took a sec for it to just be like, yeah, I do that. Oh. Uh, hey there, the new Chucky doll. Yeah. Uh, As I said, the base it, it was a bit of a mishmash between modern Chucky and old school Chucky. Yeah, basically they did the, the, the fucking chibi version of things, the more cutesy, kiddyish version. Cabbage pack, pa- patch. That one. Well, the good guy was kind of cabbage patchy anyway, originally. Yeah, it? no, I, I think he looks. I think he looked cool, and I thought the kind of little bit of variety they had for differentiation between the other dolls yeah. was like the one that he was like, look at that fucking hair, but I got I thought that was great. I deserve to kill him. Look what he did to my hand. Look at my hair. Oh, no, you're you right, know, dude. I'm yeah, sorry. Right I'm sorry. There. You got this. You I'm got sorry. This. I don't even... I'm so sorry you're stepping on your toes. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the, the Cult of Chucky basically follows uh, Nika, who is now... Nika. 
Yeah, so I said. You said Nika. Yeah. It's Mika with an N. Or Nika, N I C A. I thought it was Mika with an M. N I C A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, old man hearing. But um, yeah, she's basically been locked in a maximum security mental institution because, well, if you've seen the other film, you kind of have a pretty good idea of why she's there. And over the previous, over the last years, um, she's come to terms with the fact that she kind of went on a bit of a killing spree and used Chucky as, you know, her, um, her way of hiding from it all. Or did she? Dun, dun, dun. We all know she didn't. No, she, she didn't. But of course, in the film, you know, if killer dolls are like, obviously a crazy all, person talk. We all know. That would have been a serious flip in the series. <laughs> it turned out it was never the doll. But that's what they're trying to present. That's the, the whole point of the, the reboot, kind of, oh, it was just an excuse. All this mad stuff happened. They used the doll as an excuse. I think it's even said in the first... Um, in the, in the first to show. a certain extent. Ah, oh, fuck. No, that's... Okay, sorry. I'm going to get the... Tom Hotel trailer. I'm going to have to download that while we're doing something. Okay. So there'll be a bit of hoodwinkery near the end of the show to try and get that on. What's new? Um, That's new. That ordinarily doesn't happen. I meant the hoodwinkery. Oh, the hoodwinkery. There's usually a good good yeah. portion of hoodwinkery going on during the show. And it's happening right hoodwinkers. now. Hoodwinkers. Bonafide hoodwinkers. That's what we could be put down as. Um, Sorry. I get sidetracked. Yeah. Over the, over the course of the film, the Chucky doll makes numerous appearances. Um, first as... A prop. Nika ends up, um, because she's doing so well coming to terms with the stuff that she did in the first film, she's moved to a medium security prison. Well, she hasn't really come to terms with the stuff she was dealing with from the first film. She's just led them to believe that she's come to terms with the stuff oh, she the first film. Eh, she flips very quickly back. I don't think, I think she just had them. With the amount of stuff that happens very rapidly, it's understandable why she kind of goes, ah, hang on a minute. I'm going to have to put this in the We'll have to agree. She's convinced at the start of the film. Convinced that I, she, I, I, she was responsible I think, for it. I think that's more fun and games. Is it? Because Sorry, we fun and games is a very bad description. It's not fun and games. But like, hang on, we see some of the tactics that um, that your man, the doctor, uses later on in the film. Yes. So she is convinced. Yeah, but like, stare into my light, listen to my voice. Stare yes, okay, light. well, in that way she's convinced, but when she's not fucking looped up, she... I, I don't know, I think it's very... When you do enough of these sessions... Let's move on with the movie. <laughs> Brand, fine. We'll agree to disagree. He implants the fucking thought in her head. Yeah, oh god, okay. Fair enough. You were right, skis. Hey, I got one for once. Although that was a good fuck up. It was a good fuck up. I wouldn't have gone this into it if it wasn't for the fact that I was like, no, it's it's like that's definitely wrong. <laughs> it just it was just a very crucial fuck up because it put a whole different I know, whole yeah, different yeah. story arc into the uh, not a bad story arc actually in your defensive, your creative, imaginary. Anyway. Um Chucky Doll ends up getting used by Doctor is it Doctor Malcolm? Yeah. Dr. Malcolm has the Chucky doll that he uses as a... Dr. Foley. Whatever his name is, he's a dickbag. He is. He is. Um, you know someone's a dickbag when even fucking Chucky is looking at him going, I don't know whether to kill you or take notes. Yeah. He yeah Chucky actually does something in the movie in aid of Mika as payback at one... Or Nika at one stage. Because he's that much of an a-hole. Twice. Twice. But the... Oh, no. Well, there's one where it's like... Yeah. It's payback. What the <laughs> hell are you... What the... And I thought I was bad. Yeah, but uh, he has the Chucky doll that he uses basically as a uh, therapeutic aid. Therapeutic. We call it therapeutic. This is your scared of it. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's grand. It's just a fucking doll. Ah, no, get it away from me. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Look at the doll. Look at the doll. Uh, unfortunately, several of the other patients become well. One of them may. One of them becomes fixated. mummy fixated. Oh, my what? baby. Um, another one who believes she's a ghost. That's that was hilarious. <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, thank God. Yeah. There's, there's a nice assortment of wacky people in this movie. There is, which allows for the, the, the fun juxtaposition of there's the a, There's a multiple personalities Malcolm. Yeah, multiple Malcolm. Multiple, <laughs> multiple Malcolm, who's Chucky. But he isn't Chucky. Or is he Chucky? We never know. Is he Mike? Is he Mike? Is he Mark? 
Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. I'll yep. tell you who doesn't know. I can... Nope. Does not have to. Harsh. Yeah. But um, as a result, you do get this interesting little bit whereby you... Everyone's aware that Chucky is there. Everyone knows that there's something horrible going on. Hell, the very first thing, one of the first things that we see is Andy proving the fact that Chucky is a real thing. Well, no, the first thing we see is Andy bombing on the day, but... And then proving that Chucky yeah. is a real thing. So tell me about yourself. Uh, my mother was murdered by a killer doll when I was eight. And then the killer doll tried to attempt to murder me several times after that. And then I went in the army and I became reclusive. And then I started working for a secret agency where I murdered people. And then eventually they realized I was too psychotic about the doll. And then they released me again and now I just kind of really What film is he working for a secret agency? Collect weapons. He worked for the military, I just added the secret agency bit in there to fluff this out a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then I mostly just collected an assortment of firearms and grenades now and thought I'd give Tinder a go. So At which point she was out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, of course it isn't. Yes, of course it isn't. You just walked in, you're like, hello, I am Rambo. <laughs> And my shiny, shiny. How the conversation started. <laughs> Probably was. It wasn't. She brought it up. And then you, went, you, you looked me up on Google, didn't you? And then you had to. Got hobbies. And then he got. I had to fucking explain it all. Oh, I got lots of hobbies. I got this hobby, got that hobby, got this hobby, this hobby. Um. No torching dogs in the face. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say that once Chucky does come on the scene, it is your usual bit of child's play fun and games. Yeah. With what? Wasn't terrible CGI on him. Yeah, I did think it was going to go a little bit cheesy, and it, it was the same as like what you and I said with the Puppet Master movies recently. I don't mind a little bit of CGI to get the doll hmm. from one side of the room to the other. It's got to happen. Although yeah. I don't even think they use CGI for this. I think they just use kid and kid and Chucky no, they definitely use CGI for the parts. One little, one or two little bits, but like the I think a lot of the feet running across the floor. Oh yeah, was. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. It could have, could have been fucking aliens these days, but the way Hollywood works. Probably was. Could have been. Told you, man. Could have been. Could you do a trailer? Resource. Yeah. Do a trailer. Oh. Wait. One more. Just want to be a bit more down this way. We're very. News of 10. Okay. But we have no notes. It's a bit different. Okay. I'll hit the Chucky trailer, and then we'll come back and we'll do our synopses on the movie. I guess this one. This also, just to let you know, I, due to the speed of things, I didn't get a chance to rename the videos from last week. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's this one, but if it isn't, bear with me. I was six. My babysitter was murdered. And they never caught him? Justice was done. Wanna play? Mika, the murders were real. Chucky never was. That's right. He was a fantasy. A delusion. Are you feeling better now? I don't blame you for being afraid. I was very ill. Chucky told me. He's coming for you. It's important that we all explore it together as a group. I think I have something that will help. Whoa! Hi! I'm Chucky. Wanna play? First, he'll kill each and every one of you in the most horrible ways you can imagine. And then he'll kill me, too. Come to mommy. Oh, God. Are you afraid of the truth? Terrified. You should be, too. Night, night. <laughs> and they call me sick? Wait a minute, there's two of them? He'll kill us all! <laughs> A true classic never goes out of style. <laughs> We're back. Ah, on season really quick. That was good. I uh, gotta say, studio audience did a good shout out in the chats there. Dude, the fuck. I wish we did Dead Silence. I love that movie. <laughs> Yeah. It's a great movie. That's good as well. Billy, he's a right terrifying little fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> um, so, 
Cult of Chucky overall, it did get slated a lot when it came out. Um, I thought it was a bit unjustly slated, to be honest. I mean, look, it's not going to win any Oscars or anything, um, but it's a Chucky movie, and for what a Chucky movie is supposed to do, it does its job, I think, quite well. You get what it does there's is... There's some awesome kills in there. Uh, some great lines out of multiple Chuckies. Bit of Chucky torture porn. Bit of bad haircuts. Sexy nurse, which is always nice. Uh, Jennifer Tilly. Trish Eek. Couple of flashbacks to the old days. Um, and all of that in a crazy little package. And you put all that in a mental asylum, which is always interesting in a horror movie capacity. Yeah, um, what I was going to say is that what it does is just basically take the reboot, decide, you know what, this, this, where we were, hmm, let's, let's do this, and adds a few extra bits, and as a result, sets up the future of the franchise, which is probably going to be multiple movies, and more importantly, a TV series, which, to the best of my knowledge, both of them are going to be doing their own thing, and I'd say the TV series is basically, there's one overriding premise in this film, and it's a really cool premise, and it's the main evolution, let's say, of the story. And it is what I imagine is going to be the basis for the TV series, whereby, well, shit's gone viral, and it's awesome. Yes, you're right, Katie McNeil, Jennifer Tilly. Truly emoji, a hearty eye emoji. And then I usually have a splash emoji, and whatever that fruit is that people use for a dick, because it's Jennifer Tilly, because she's amazing. <laughs> Fruit, cucumber, uh, aubergine, oh, eggplant. Eggplant equals penis via emojis. Did you know how that? Funnily enough, no. I've never had any a reason to need to know. I guess. Who are all these women, and why are they trying to influence my dietary constraints? <laughs> well, that makes more sense now. Were there splashy emojis near them, or? Were they eggplants? I don't know. I buy don't one know. of these and eat it. No. Okay. That's fair enough. Jennifer Tilly. Yeah. Get, get back on topic. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I got a message come in somewhere. Grum. Avocado beans. Uh, evidently, it's not an avocado. It's a. We've been egg, informed they're eggplant. eggplants. Thanks for that. That's just Grum trying to make the fuck everybody like just be walking around. Oh, avocado. Oh. <laughs> um, the next film is. Uh, I put the next film in the middle because I I do enjoy Cult of Chucky. Overall, there, I'm. You're a little more okay with the voodoo side of things than I am. I just I just yeah. don't know how you split a soul. <laughs> you do. It's been it's been it's been done in multiple different stories. In mm. fact, it's the basis. For things like fucking... Okay. Once upon a time right. when humanity was first... Wait, 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 wait. Go on. So, once upon a time when humanity was first created, we all had four arms, four legs, and two heads. But okay. we were such a fucking problem that the gods went, screw this, we're a tub spin, they're way too much hassle like that, and split us in half. So that's where the term soulmate comes from. This is actually mythology. It's a creation myth. And then the stork came down and gave those two people a baby. Is it? No. No. <laughs> it is meant. No, I, I have heard that. It's I'm creation just, myth. I, I just. I just. The I, power I, of unity. That, okay. 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 That's two. That's yep. two. That's a soulmate split. That's two. Harry freaking Potter. He. Harry Potter's fake as balls. <laughs> so sorry kids, I'm sorry, I'm watch. sorry, there's an over 18 cert. So is everything else watch. There's an over 18 cert on this show for one reason, and sometimes it's because I drop fucking truth. <laughs> and I'm aware it's a pile of balls, but I find in the world of imaginary magic, I can buy my their magic, because their magic's a little more magician-y. It's on. like, my Alakazam. Dragon, you know, this is. I'm gonna split. Harry myself. Potter rips off everything. My point is, the Horcrux is the most commonly known ripoff of the Soul Divide, whereby someone takes a portion of their soul for the sake of keeping themselves immortal, place it in different vessels. The reason I mention Harry Potter is not because it blew my fucking mind, but because everyone will have actually heard of it. 
Okay. So the boy is Indian in stuff. Before. It's just the way it's going. I find it unbelievable that he can have fifty fucking chuckies, all with the one soul. I can deal with a soul split. I can even take a trio. Mm -hmm. In the crazy, crazy world of fucking Greek and Roman shit, yeah, I might get six. But as you so aptly put it earlier, they're going viral, and Tiffany's going viral, and they're all going viral, which means more than three and more than six, which makes me and what knowledge I have of voodoo and the general rules of Hollywood voodoo that you usually see, that that is very, very much stretching it. That's it. I'm not trying to piss on mythology or anything. I'm just saying that they're taking the one rule and stretching it. Which is actually was my initial argument in the first place. <laughs> cool. Anyway, next film. Next film. Which is, fuck, if you thought we argued about the good movie. <laughs> Ooh. Pinocchio's mm. Revenge. Oh, Pinocchio's Revenge. <laughs> on the surface, uh, Actually, I don't know what to call it on the surface. Actually, it might open it's another beer already if it's Pinocchio's Revenge. Hang the on. Way that, the way that it's shot and the way that everything goes, it, like... I'm pretty sure it was a TV movie, judging by the way it was shot. There's that, there's yeah. A there's a certain waft of TV of it. Well, there's... Okay, that's that's fine. That's grand, but... It it's doesn't... Fucking dark for it TV. never knows if it wants to be a feel-good fucking <laughs> drama tea or some other daytime soap opera, or if it's trying to be a horror movie. And it's really hard to discern because... It hasn't got a very scary... Or porn in some instances, because I won't lie to you, due to the tone of the movie that it was generally overall, that was a very out-of-place sex scene. And then due to the fact that it's nowhere to be bought, we watched it on YouTube. I'll put my hands up. It's on fucking YouTube. We watched it on YouTube, and for some reason, they let all the old people sex stay in, but they cut out the Italian babysitter. Old oh, people sex. Well, you know the mother and stuff. They cut out everything, really. Oh, there's a lot of... I don't know. You didn't need tits for that scene to be uncomfortable. It was just, I don't know what it was. But you could clearly see that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't feel bad about getting into the uh, sex scene because it happened really early in the movie. So, is that the start? I won't lie to you. It actually... It's <laughs> it's not at the start. It's about halfway through. Was it halfway through? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Pinocchio's Revenge basically centres around a doll um, that was found... Named Pinocchio. Just in case you haven't... That was found in a grave with a kid that was dead. Basically, his father killed him, buried the body. He was also in the process of burying two other young boys. He gets caught by the law. Um, five years later, he's up on death row. His public defender is trying to get him off or trying to get a stay or whatever. In investigating his case, she ends up getting his hands on all of his gear. Um, he dies. She's left with Pinocchio and a box of other crap. <laughs> Pinocchio, Miscellaneous evidence. Uh, um, Pinocchio ends up being brought into her, her, her daughter's birthday party. Her, her admittedly, and from the outset we can see, mentally disturbed daughter who is having issues in regards to her divorced parents and is lashing out violently at her classmates who yeah. may or may not have deserved it in the first place. They, they did party. deserve it. They're, they're, I've never called an eight-year-old a cunt before, but they are. I was waiting for it to grab onto her by the bag straps and just BANG! <laughs> what? It's, it's effective. I, I, um, I know, it's just, it like, you don't see eight-year-old girls just clean headbutt cheap. I, anyway, um, <laughs> oh, I, I won't lie to you, I had a funny feeling it was it, that's who you were talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyway, as I said, her... It's Zoe's the daughter's name, isn't it? Yeah. I won't lie to you, I don't even know any work. Uh, that movie yeah. actually made me, it is. That movie actually made me stupid. Um, as I said, Zoe's kind of acting out. She's already in therapy with some Mambi Pambi therapist. Her birthday party is rolling around, um, and in the midst of her mother, the, her, her mother, the public defendant, kind of trying to get everything done, Pinocchio ends up being brought into the house. Yeah, and Pinocchio ends up being mistakenly given to a young daughter as a birthday present. Insert, loads of crazy shit. But Pinocchio and her have an unbreakable bond. Yeah. An like, unbreakable, so believable bond. Really disturbing too, because like he's mad to sleep with her. Hmm. 
in the bed, like, and when it does happen, it's, it's creepy the way it puts. And then there's, there's the conversation. Not wood. I was going to say there's the conversation it's had after Pinocchio is found spying on the hot Italian house babysitter yeah, person. It's understandable. They, they edited it all. The understandable out there. That's what it's. If there was any understanding, but that could have just been really shitty TV editing. Just going, tits gone, tits gone, tits gone, tits gone. Good. <laughs> put it out there. Yeah. You can put her on about 9 p.m. Um, PG 13 time. Basically, anyone that fucks with the kid ends up having a nasty accident. Accident day. Um, Introduction to a bus. Yeah, that was great. Face plant on some concrete. Yeah. Uh, get your there hair ripped stairs. up. There was the stairs. What else was there? There's actually not a lot of deaths in this. No, there isn't. Most of the film is lacking a lot of things in relation to horror. Uh, yeah, it's most most good of scripting. Yeah. Um, good shot transitions. I don't know. For me, most of the film just seemed to revolve around the. I just felt it. It, it just it's hard to take. It could be because we had to watch it segmented. <laughs> But I just felt I, know, stuff on it or I just felt that it was very segmented, as in like there was like this bit is happening here. Now this bit is happening over here. As I said, it feels like you're watching a, a daytime made for TV movie. Yeah, except it's definitely not daytime. But yeah, no, it's definitely. I'm pretty sure it's a made for TV movie. Yeah, but it, it, it's it, it's weird. It's, I wrote a very short article this week, so I'm not open my backstory as much as I ordinarily am. But I will do a quick check. Um, I feel. <laughs> yeah, as the movie. I feel TV movie. Yeah, probably. As the movie progresses, um, the you're expecting one thing, and that's the killer doll bit. The only interesting thing the movie does is to they do badly though. They do, yeah. Is to blur the line between whether or not it's a killer doll or just a homicidal crazy fucking kid. He's got a four out of ten. You mean point four? Four mm. out of ten. 70% liked this movie. I don't believe anything. Yeah, we, I'm reading it, so believe it. I definitely don't believe anything you read. Why is that? No, because we've been sure. We might be reading it well. Uh, release. production structures. Ah, direct to video, so it was even, not even TV. That explains so much. That explains so much. We could have done better. Dead silence. You picked it. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Well, we talked about it on the show, and I just felt, I feel a lot of people ain't seen this. And <laughs> I feel a lot of people aren't going to see it after this. The either. reason we talked about it was because so many people had said it was terrible. We were kind of like, yeah. Mm. Um, I can see the issues. Yeah. Um, the story isn't explained very well. You No. You really do get, like... The like psychosis of the child is... The... The psychosis of the child is explained very badly and very briefly, very near the end of the movie. And then the psychosis of the mother is explained. It's not. You have to figure it out yourself. Yeah. I figured it out. Yes. It's, and and well, more, you see, the thing with you figuring out stuff occasionally is you've got a right imagination. And sometimes you're really good at filling in blanks. <laughs> yes, but naturally this would happen. Ye yeah, but you're taking what you know about voodooism from Warhammer or something like that, and you're now applying voodoo in Warhammer. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I won't say what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. You have a lot of fantasy mythology out there that you sometimes are like, well, applicably, this is how it would work. And it's like, yes, but applicably, that's a fucking different movie slash story slash book slash comic that has nothing to do with this. In the story of what I was told, <laughs> it looked like a fucking puppet, and then it's like, no, it can't be the kid. Oh, it actually is the kid. The kid's fucking crazy. And then the mum's like, oh, look, the mum's fucking, yeah. Just like the dad at the start of it. They got convicted for murder. Yeah, with the son who murdered everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So the question becomes, is it a psychosis, or is it a cursed doll? Or Maybe it's the puppet... You think maybe the puppet is a catalyst for crazy? I'll tell you, and you would think I'd like it over this, but I actually didn't. But it is essentially Fight Club, the horror movie. 
but opposed to an imaginary friend, it's a full blown puppet. imaginary personality in a puppet. Yeah. So they think that they see the puppet up and moving, but it's actually them up and moving. Hmm. And there's times where they see them up and moving, but they're actually the puppet. And it's all the puppet. Hmm. So fuck. Went Palinuk on that shit. Palinuk? The author of Food Club. Um, I don't know if I said it like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. We'll do a trader. We'll do a trader. Trader. We'll trader. We should do a group watch of this sometime. Do you Did, want to torture people in that? Well, no. But you see, the thing, I do sometimes. The thing, with like group, that. the thing with a group watch is, and I don't mind sharing things with the audience, I just sat myself there and was really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so here's the thing if we do the group watch while watching a movie with a bunch of people is fun and it's a nice movie and it's a good movie and you have a good time it. it's way more fun when the movie sucks total donkey dicks and everyone's able to just be like oh, what the fuck's going on in this why is the kid not the puppet or whatever the hell is going on? Because you, <laughs> you just want to play it and snap your wall off this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Except with 50 people. <laughs> 50 snap or something. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's, it's a strange movie. It's a strange movie. It's a strange, strange movie. That's certainly one way of putting it, yeah. Um, it's a strange. Like, it's going one way. Because there's a lot. Like, for. Ordinarily, like, you wouldn't have to pop it up and moving around. And if you're trying to sell the psychotic side oh, of things, yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And there was a significant amount of puppet The more the thing. kid goes crazy, the more... I, I know the more the kid goes crazy, the more the puppet starts getting yeah, yeah. up and about. But I, I just... Mm. It was just told very badly, to be honest. Uh, Trader time? Sorry. <laughs> Because it actually has a pretty big budget for TV movies, strangely enough. 96 minutes, Jesus Christ. Troy Mark Pictures. Mm. See, Troy Mark don't do horror. And now we know why. Yeah. The more you know. Yeah, we'll do the trailer and then we can. I don't, I don't think we even have final. Actually, we're going to do the. Uh, we're going to do the trailer for this, and there's also going to be the short film slash advert for the American Horror Film Festival if you happen to be a short filmmaker and you got a music video or horror short or horror feature or horror documentary or any crazy shit like that hmm. make sure to go over to filmfreeway.com and check out the American Horror Film Festival and put your submission in before September 27th where the submission date has been extended but you'll see all of that after the trailer for what I can only describe as a god awful fucking movie <laughs> What the hell have we got here, huh? It was a bizarre piece of evidence in the trial of an accused child killer. How could the man who made this have murdered his only child? Evil comes in all shapes and sizes. His lawyer believed he was innocent, but she couldn't stop his execution. Now, her daughter has been given something she was never meant to have. Sorry, she spotted it before I could get it wrapped. And the soul of a murderer may have found a new home. It's always been having these horrible, violent nightmares lately. Zoe, what are you doing up? Her therapist thinks she has a lot of repressed hostility. <sighs> Pinocchio, can't become a real boy if you keep doing bad things. <sighs> Sweetheart. She's a very disturbed little girl. She's protecting you from Pinocchio. I know what evil looks like. I see it in the eyes of my clients. And I'm telling you, I don't see it in my daughter. You have the power, son. Pinocchio can't hurt me. Give me life. What do I have to do? Cut my strings.
Eretus Expedius Spielborgiamus! <laughs> it's rendered. It's finally rendered! What? Uh, okay, I did not think that was how that whole editing bit worked. At all. <laughs> It is complete, kids, my friend. You need to get this over to American Horrors HQ stats because the extension date for the American Horrors Film Festival has been extended. And you're going to need this. And you're going to need this. Would it not be quicker just to send all so this stuff by? Express Delirioso. <laughs> Ah, crap! I suppose at least his spell casting's coming along. Ah! Do 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 you flying here and me here, it would have been way quicker just to meet us in America if you're trying to get us a delivery. You know, I asked that same question, and I quote, Don't stop, stop, stop. You dare stop, stop, stop. Stifle my artistic creativity. Stop. Now get on the fucking plane, explanation mark. Wrap up, it's going to be cold. Stop. I packed you a jacket. Ha ha, stop. Ha ha, stop. Ha ha, stop. Ha. Ha, stop. That answers my second question. He's a funny fucker, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. Well, Giz makes his way back to Gorecast HQ. I'm here to let you know that the annual American Horrors Film Festival is back October 26th and 27th in downtown Lake Geneva. The submission date for the festival has been extended to September 27th, so if you've got a horror movie, horror music video, horror documentary, horror short, get it into filmfreeway.com forward slash festival forward slash the American Horrors Film Festival, where you can get it seen by one of our special guest judges, including Dieter Stroom, an Oscar award winner. Now. Just look into the poster, not around the poster, directly into the poster. Keep focusing on the poster. That's right. Look at the poster. I'll go back. I missed the button there for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the trailer for Pinocchio's Revenge. Um, I saw someone say best trailer ever. I hope it's for our trailer. <laughs> I'd like to think it's better. No, Tommy Wizu is trembling. Yeah, I. Wizu? You know, your man from, uh... What was that terrible movie? The Room. Never seen it. Oh, it's... Okay, okay, okay. It's a theater. Theater. It's a master class in bad acting and bad editing and bad filming. I'll take your word for it. But a mass, also a master class in if you can dream it. You can kill it? It can happen. Okay. He's made millions off that movie now. Like, he, 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 like, reverse sold it where it became so shit that people were like, I oh, got to see this fucking movie. Kind of thing. You know, like, Paranormal Activity. Oops! Yes! Burn! It's going to be a sense you've been for that one. Boom. Over level 9,000. <laughs> Alright, so I'll fucking do my point. Ah! Put a lot of hairs all up, though. That's yeah. the only problem. I've got the proper gel for it. Trunks level here. Yeah. I have the proper um, gel for it, the room. Well, if it isn't my favourite fuzzy little man peach. Oh, <laughs> thanks, sugar tits. It's my <laughs> favourite <laughs> demented pictures. I, I am a fuzzy little man peach. <laughs> anyway, um, is there anything else you want to do? Or the we'll move on to next. I wanted to do the comments, if that's uh, okay. And say hello to people, if there was anyone else. Mike's in. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. Uh, and there's other people in, but it doesn't tell me. So whoever you are, hello. And I'm going to hit three crying faces for the park.
Oh, okay, then. No one knew me. I did that. Yeah. I feel better about myself now. Uh, next movie. Upgrade. <laughs> Firstly. For, are we going to do the argument now? I thought, no. Firstly. I thought we'd get into the movie yeah. and then we'd be like, here's the trailer. And they'd be like, it's not puppets. I was going to say, yeah. firstly, before we get into the argument, we can both agree, Upgrade is fucking awesome. Oh, it's a fucking great movie. It's a fantastic It's a film. great, great, great movie. Um, whoever that knockoff um, Tom Hardy is. Uh, Logan Martian Green. Cool. Mm -hmm. he, he knock off Tom Hardy. I, it, it, I think it's the beard, to be honest. Yeah, it probably is. Because um, when I did look him up on IMDb, he didn't look anything like Tom Hardy. But something about the beard. He looks, well, like, he looks like Tom Hardy. Younger Tom Hardy. Well, like in the rock and roller. You know the rock and roller? Uh, oh, rock and roller. Yes. Yeah, yes, it yeah he's right. in the rock and roller. Yes. He's the gay guy. Rock and roller. Yeah. Oh, nah. That's a great soundtrack. That's a dun, 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 dun. I'm a man. That's the exact song I was thinking of. Black, uh, Black Strobe. 21. All right, baby. Do you remember the, um, the Monsters thing, uh, Mockingbird Lane? I got a lot of fun. I thought it was awesome when Eddie Izzard is there and he's singing the old school version. I'm a man. man. Dun, 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 Played that in the yeah. before. Oh, yeah, I asked you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, in this Sorry, if you mention that song, I will break into it. In this, in Upgrade, Logan Marshall Green plays um, <laughs> Gray, who is left as paraplegic in the same He's instance. a shit-hot mechanic, and he makes and fixes cars for expensive and very, very well-funded, well-funded, well-funded people. Mm. And he's got a wife who works for... Kirkland? Wife. Wife. He's got a wife who works for a other science company who make robotic cars and all that kind of mad shit. Specialising in uh, robotic nano routine. or robotic limbs, limbs for soldiers, for soldiers and things like that. And he meets a dude that he fixes and makes a car for. And his wife's talking to them, and then they're all driving home. And then there's a car crash. Yeah. Um, and then shit gets <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Basically, um, Logan's wife is so actually it doesn't. Shit gets very, very depressing and hard to watch for a while. In a, in a good hard to watch. In a sort of oh poor man. Hard to watch kind of way, not in a sort of this is a shit movie. Hard to watch kind of way, just to clarify. Logan's wife gets killed in the same incident where he gets crippled, leaving him a complete utter paraplegic. Which for yeah. the first ten minutes of the film is manic depression bill because yes, yeah. it's firstly the film is set in in the future basically it's a futuristic world. The car that his wife is driving is remote, which it's is how set the crash in two zero cyberpunk eighty three or some shit like I don't know. We're actually never it. we're actually never given a year. It's just clearly. People got guns in their arms, people got eye scanners in their eyeballs, yeah. people got... Augmetics are a thing, basically. Augmenting? Augmetics? Augmetics. Augmetics. But, um... Grey is... After a failed suicide attempt, um, Grey is approached by Aaron. It's totally failed because he's a computer doctor. He's like, I cannot give you this amount of drugs, yeah, or we'll kill you. Give me the drugs! Uh, does not compute. Um, Sit there and drool for five hours. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, after this, Gray is approached by Aaron, who's the guy that we're introduced to at the, at the start of the film, who runs, who we're told at the start of the film, runs the most sophisticated robotics company, oh, Vessel. Just to clarify, before we get too into it, not so much for you guys, but more for myself in case. We'll probably keep this one. I am Lucy. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just because it's only it. out of what is it? June, was it? Uh, no, oh, June. It's, it was only out there a couple weeks ago. It sure was June. It was out on 14th of August on. VOD, I think. I think. Uh, you were right, sorry. I didn't do all of my normal research, I did do some. 28th of August is when it was. Digital release. I think so, yeah. yeah. And it was June that it got released so. in Australia and America. Right, yeah. Um, anyway. After the failed suicide attempt, Gray is approached by Aaron, who has already mentioned that he runs this shit hot robotics tech, mm -hmm. that they have this piece of hardware that's going to be coming out soon. He didn't just mention it, he told um, Gray's wife that it doesn't matter what sort of super technology you're making over there, I have pits all over it. And in demonstration, he shows them this piece of tech, which is basically going to be able to revolutionize the computing, the computing 
industry. Yeah, because or the brain industry. Yeah. Um, so he offers Gray the chance to walk and move again by surgically implanting the device that he, that he showed him stem into his spine, which will then basically work by rooting, by rerouting um, the impulses from his brain, which can't reach his spine, through stem into his nervous system. Gray thinks, okay, let's do Stem basically does what the break in the spine can't. Yeah. Um, he, Gray signs a confidentiality agreement, can't tell anyone about it, mm -hmm. has to pretend that he's paraplegic when walking around in public. Indeed. Then he finds out that the damn thing can talk to him. <laughs> And oh, that's where the oh, fun starts. Oh, and can it. Yep. Oh, and can it. Um, it quickly points out uh, evidence in the surveillance video regarding the death. And this I just Gray. happened to be having a quick peruse through your case there, Gray. And you know, that guy definitely lives here. <laughs> Which guy? Show me your pencil. That's his tattoo. Only one guy. Bad, 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 bad. Well, and it's basically like, oi, you're a handy computer chip, my brain, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't so, you? This sends Gray off on the obvious bit of, I'm going to track down the people yeah. of Burma. Somewhat incited by the fact that what I'd imagine the cop thought she was trying to help him at the time and give a quadriplegic man a bit of yeah. oomph. Probably wasn't expecting him to develop superpowers in a robotic spine. Yeah, I was and about to mention Detective Cortez, who is trying to help Gray, and then... If you could get out there and help me a bit, that'd be great. I <laughs> <doesn't>, yeah, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm yes, sure, I'm quadriplegic in a wheelchair. But um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about much. Quadriplegic in a wheelchair with a computer chip in my neck and super fucking powers. But she doesn't know. She does, he, he doesn't actually have superpowers. Yeah, it's. Um, we're not going to get too much more into the story, but what it yeah. does is allows for some fantastically hilarious violence. I would say the violence is great. I wouldn't actually call this a horror. Considering how the film ends. Considering how the film ends, granted, but are you considering mm. all the stuff that he goes through? An overbearing ending of Doom, not a horror film make. I would say it's a very, very good cyberpunk influenced murder mystery sci fi. Yes. With some awesome martial artsiness mixed in to boot. Ne uh, Neo Matrix level martial artsiness. But Which right. is hilarious and to watch. Fantastic. Actually, I'll wait till we get after the trailer to talk about that. I am going to jizz all over this for a while about some of the camera work and cinematography and the cover grading. Cover grading. Um, I just thought it was a cool story and I enjoyed the fact that, from my point of view at least, this entire film was basically about a guy being turned into a human puppet. We'll get into that after the trailer. we get into that after the trailer. You want to hit it? we do the trailer? Yeah. Uh, upgrade. Uh, yeah. This one, I think. Can I have everybody's attention? I'm looking for the guys who murdered my wife. <laughs> Are you one of them? Yeah. Stan, you can take over. Thank you. I now have full control. Hi. You upgraded. You're stronger. Faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Better than everyone else. There we go. Um, it is a bloom house, but I don't give a fuck. It's not a horror movie. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, um, the horror of the movie is Gray's life. He has everything taken from him, including physical control of his own body. Am I going to have to put a hashtag clutching at straws logo up on the screen? Some of the best horrors ever don't necessarily have horrific stuff in them. The horror is what the characters go through. The horror is the reality of the existence that they are now that they now have to deal with. True. Which, given the ending of the film, I think encapsulates that. True. But outside of the production company, nothing about this movie is horror. 
he has he has a shitty existence i get that but none of the drive behind what he does none of the uh, he's driven by at first he wants to end his own life because he can't he feels that he can't do anything else after that he gets a notion into his head which is encouraged by outside influences he loses control even of that facility slowly but surely over the film Mm -hmm. I, I agree with Mike. Dark fantasy. It's it's way more. Up to t like I, having seen the movie, when you put the movie out to me for this, I, your description of the movie made it out a lot more puppety to me than it was. It what it actually is is a self-installed HAL unit from two thousand and eighty. That turns a human into a marionette. It turns a human into a marionette, yeah, one hundred percent. But it's it's not a true horror. It's it's way more it's way more sci fi based. The murder of the wife is a means to an end to get the sci fi chip in the neck and make shit happen. That's it. It's it's a murder mystery. It's 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 a it's a stark fantasy that murder mystery with a sci fi cyberpunk whack on top of it. And a very dark ending. And a very dark ending. Yes, true. But Schindler's List had a very dark ending. It's not a horror movie. <laughs> Am I wrong? Focus on different aspects. No, sorry, just to clarify. Horror. It, in, in the greatest band of things, it is a horror, but it's not a horror movie. Hmm. You know? So. Fun movie. Not a fun movie either. It's a good movie. Oh wait, are you talking about Upgrade? Yeah. Sorry, I was still on the shit. Does this book there? Was <laughs> no. God, right, no. no. It's a great movie. Just to clarify, it's just I wouldn't. Fun wouldn't be the word I'd put on there. Uh, this is a fun bloody movie. Um, and there's actually there's some very bloody nice fun movie too. It's also a bloody <laughs> fun movie. Uh, and some really cool. Not a lot, but when there is the odd little comedic element here and there, like when he first his, his Ray's reaction to stems solving of certain yeah. problems certain shit arises where he's able to let the computer do he has one, to, yeah yeah and uh while he's there is he's, he's very unaware and you get to see some very comical uh, facial expressions Hit, <laughs> and, and very very well done what the fuck <laughs> i thought that was bridge what the fuck <laughs> he has a knife now we have a knife now we have a knife Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I filleted a man. Fillet man young. <laughs> I was thinking, you don't have to look. Okay. <laughs> and you just heard screams. <laughs> oh, God. It's great. This is, um, I think, yeah, uh, I, I, I wouldn't call it a puppet movie. I do get that it's, he... I get that the chip controls the limbs and things like that, but mm. it's it's not that chip is trying to take him over, and it's not a puppet. It's not it, it, it by the end of it, it's not even a puppet. It's the thing. So, mm. not a puppet movie. Pinocchio. But what about it? We just discussed that as well. That's a terrible movie. No, we but yes, it is a proper movie. It's just a I'm never mind. I'm, <laughs> never mind. Once again, I don't want to go too much into things because a lot of people yeah. might not have seen this film. Yeah. So we'll we'll will we'll we just leave it on the original. Yeah. We'll agree to disagree yeah. because we okay. can't get into it at the moment. We might come back to it in a couple of months when the movie's out there or well, hmm. where we can. Because it's just it's a very good ending. And I don't want to fucking blow it for you. Yeah. And I don't think the two of us can argue about this without, without the ending up. coming up. To be honest, yeah, because one idea is a very large crusp of my uh, argument. Uh, that's all the movies done. Yeah, that's all the movies done. Okay, so plug time because it's Sunday. We have a TV show. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, uh, just in case any of you forgot, uh, I it's didn't Sunday. forget. I was waiting for you to start talking. It's Sunday, and this big podcast is a small TV show over. On I suppose it's ah, fuck it. Uh, on the American Horrors uh, T Roku channel. So 8.30pm CST 
2.30-ish here. 2.30-ish a.m. Ish. Ish. Burn. Come on, get on. Uh, 2.30-ish. My cell phone are going to be talking all about killer dolls. Mm. So Much more generalized. Yes, not specific movies. Much more generalized. Uh, so there will be a bit of Pinocchio's Revenge in there. There will. And there's a lot of Chucky in there. Because there is. Can't not do it yep. without the Chucky. Uh, Dolly Dearest. I, if I have a vague recollection, pops up. And Billy. Yes. Yes. Silent. I fuck. I don't know why we didn't do Dead Silence there. We're going to have to do a second puppet episode, I think, sometime. Oh, no. What a pity. Whatever will we do. Pick some more choking movies. Fuck Dead Silence <laughs> in there, probably. Uh, yeah. Would like to dodge Annabelle. Friend, works for me. If I could. Because it's... Look, color by numbers. I won't lie to you. It's just to me. It's just an hour and a half of oh, I think the doll's doing shit. The doll's definitely doing shit. Oh, the doll burnt my house down, but it's only a doll. And then a load of cutscenes of a doll sitting in random places doing this, and occasionally. Annabelle for you. Sorry, Bloom House. That's our, that's our description. That's that's my full movie review of Annabelle. Oh, what did you think of Annabelle? Ah, oh, the doll is trying to kill me! And occasionally. That is it. Uh, what else do we need to plug? I mean, TV show. Oh, yeah, uh, if you haven't liked talking to myself and the gays here, we live in the Gore Club Amino. Well, I live in the Gore Club Amino. I visit every night. So if you go to Amino World, download the app, type in the world, the world. Type in the world's world. Fuck it, yeah. Type in the world's <laughs> world club, and a whole new world will be opened up to you. A world of wrestling, a world of horror, a world of cartoons, uh, uh, cartoons, if world of anime. A lot of podcasts hosted by me because those people want to do podcasts, but evidently I'm the only one that knows how to push the buttons. So that's how those things go. Or, oh no! I've just I've just been honest. Like it, it's like, just it. in case people think I'm like some sort of an evil maniac. So uh, you, how's your podcast going? Which one? So this is what happens. I do uh, forty five now. Th th this is what happens when people realize that you're actually good at something. Kind of like, can you do? Can, can can I? Yeah. Can we? So there's look there there's fuck loads. There's literally uh, there's going to be music nights. Oh, yeah, because yeah, that'll actually work in your chat room because it'll just be music files. So we should be able to handle that. Though, do let me have a little tinker with that. There's a tablet there, by the way, just to clarify. I just realised my dad was on camera. Do what I wanted to do. It's just me pointing at the crotch going, let me have a tinker with that later on. <laughs> That's not you. No. <laughs> no. That's not your job. <laughs> it's never stopped me before. It won't stop me again. <coughs> no! Okay. That's fair enough. Anyway, uh, as is customary on the weekends, for the TV show, back on topic of what we were talking about, we usually have a trailer. <laughs> yes, we do. And then we'll come back and we'll say goodbye and we'll see if anyone else is talking in the chat and we might chat for a minute. Uh, yeah. Right. What's up, Gorecasters? Myself and the Giz here, just to let you know what's coming up in this week's and American... Hey, why are we in the green screen room? We're not in the green screen room, because management got onto me during the week, and they're trying to widen us out to a bigger age demographic again, whatever that means. Another a, another age demographic? Yeah. I'm Saki the Soul Stealer. Meet Saki the Soul Stealer. Look shit! He does look shit. Freepunk shit. He's called a new shit. A, you're a fucking sock puppet. B, the episode is about killer dolls. And C... They blew the entire $1.50 budget that we have on a stupid fucking sock puppet. What are you fucking nuts? I don't have a problem with killing. <laughs> Is that the fuck? I don't know. Whoever said that, I agree with that guy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, join myself and the guys this week. American Horrors, where we're going to be talking about killer dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm actually very happy not to toot my own horn. I'm quite happy with the Killer Dolls episode. Um, I found it very hilarious. <laughs> well, I don't find it hilarious, actually, because it's all random shit that I've added in, but 
I felt like it flowed nice, so I hope you all enjoy it. In two hours ish. Ish. I think that's yeah, city ish. Yeah. For the city ish. Uh is there anything else in horror predators out now you were saying? Oh, I'm going to be seeing it during the week, I think. Mm. Cinemas. Yes. The Predator is out. Oh, we might do oh. Do you want to do a live review? The only issue. Do we not do a Predator episode already? We just did. Oh, it was Alien Covenant, sorry. That was it. Um, we have. Yeah, we figured. That'd be okay. We might do a mini review outside the cinema. <laughs> if I can keep my phone alive. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure out my new phone. No, I won't have my new phone. So, wait. Uh, El Bisto Mobilo is dying a death on me, unfortunately, people. Mm -hmm. I hope you can mourn. Because he's done as well. Yes. Some of the TV show was shot in it. That's true. Some man. of the show was shot in it. Yeah. You've been a good look, horse. Hang on. Bit upset, think of it, Maybe we should wrap it up. Maybe no more. That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, we're going to be back next week where we will be talking about. Have we figured out what we're talking about next week? Uh, <coughs> probably Halloween. Because we kind of asked for the new Halloween movie. We haven't seen it. Next week in American Hours. Well, judging by the storylines, trailers, and everything else that everybody's focused. Because given as, the information as storylines go, it has to be one of the most spilled out storylines on the internet ever. Because yep, yep. I hope oh. I hope it's all wrong. Do you know, as in like, oh, this was all a terrible joke. <laughs> you thought it was going to be this. Fool you! You thought it was going to be this, but it actually isn't. That would be a fantastic story. I w I would be totally. I I'll eat my. Um, don't 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 say anything that's not edible. You might need to. Um, just, just stop right there before you, you literally put your foot in it. I'm not bringing my foot. I know. I need it. Uh, we'll figure something out. Yeah. We'll figure something out. I hope it's a big swerve. Hmm. See how it goes. Because when I was reading it, I was like, this can't be fucking real. <laughs> Too late now. I was like, this is the craziest fucking bullshit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but more about that next week. What are we? So, what do we do next week? Leave it in the comments below. Uh, so, fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Save you and me a couple of hours of fucking like, why can't we do this? This is how it starts. Leave it in the comments below. The only stipulations are next week's TV show is myself and Giz pretty much ass fucking the Halloween. Uh, the Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you up close. Good. That's completely good. You see, this is why we have these arguments, is because that was completely against the stipulations I just said there. I was like, just remember, next week's TV show is the new Halloween movie. Yeah, let's do the new Predator. TV show, you said. Predator TV? What? You were saying the TV show is the Halloween. Yeah, and not unlike tonight. Our podcasts are yeah. usually <laughs> customarily themed to the show. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> outro out. Out he make outro. Out. You still need to press stuff. Oh no, I wasn't actually going to do this. Oh, you weren't saying well. You know. just looked at me shocked and appalled. I was just like, oh, okay, fair enough. We we'll, we'll end it there, so. Well, even if you'd said that. All right, look, I'm Johnny Deadly. That's the gaze. Gorecast. Something Halloween y. Leave something in the comments below. It'd be nice to not have come up with an episode one week. Hmm. I would like you to do this. Cool. <laughs> Gorecast out. Oh, wait. Something.